Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Drop a comment as well. Check out Discord, all that stuff. So many things you can do. Whew, here we are. Alright, so this is going to be about the item and inventory class, at least in this video. We're going to flesh that out. The plan going forward is going to be to make sure items work, inventory works. Uh, then we're going to keep working a little more on enemy and editor modes to make sure we can get out some nice enemies, spawn them. Then we're going to do the enemy attacking. Uh, and also, I want to work a lot on making the items cool. So we're going to we're going to make sure we put in some nice types of enemies and items uh, and also the armor classes. But before before all that, let's start off with the basics. Let's open our, first of all, I'm going to close this. Uh, let me see if that was, okay. Uh, Alright, so that's something I'm going to talk about in a little bit. Uh, inventory is going to be open. Just going to go ahead and close tile map. Uh, I was trying something out here. I'm going to explain later what I was doing. It's not that important, but basically I had an error. Uh, but I need to tell you guys about that. Uh, let's start off with item. Here we go. Item.cpp and item.h. <clears throat> now item is our very base class of everything. Uh, each item, whatever values they're going to have, I want to store in here. I'm going to create a little, uh, whoops, not the here, right here. Variables, variables. Uh, you have to excuse me about my being sick because you might hear me clearing my nose a lot, but I'm going to try not to do that. Uh, here we go. So what is an item, a very basic item going to contain? And there are a lot of things you can put here. But basically what I want to do is I want to put in a long, uh, well, you know, we'll, we'll keep it, you know, what, you know what we'll do, we'll, we'll do, we'll do unsigned. Unsigned value. Now each item is going to have a value. Uh, and that's very logical, right? You'll be able to sell, a, sell an item. You'll be able to do all that stuff. So, a value. Uh, items do already contain types, I'm pretty sure. Or, no, their type is their class, basically. So, they don't really have a type in themselves. We could create a type variable here. Type. And just to kind of keep track of what type it is from within the item itself, just as a variable, just to keep track. Uh, we do want to create an enumeration for that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that with this might be something we remove later. I don't want to, I don't want to talk too much about this, but item types, uh, but it might help us later when we are creating uh, stuff for the inventory, just checking things. So I'm just going to have this for now. First of all, this is going to be an, a default, I don't know, zero probably not going to use default a lot um and then we're going to have ranged weapon uh, melee weapon melee weapon uh then we're gonna have armor all that crap blah 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 but fine for for now this is fine that's cool let's keep that so type will be tracked through a variable as well uh, this could be a short, you know, if we want to optimize it, we'll keep it short. Short, unsigned. Eh, eh, that's cool. All right, that's cool. Good. Step one complete. Next step is to make sure these are not actually public, but private protected. There we go. So protected, again, means that we can access these within the inheritance, but not outside of any of these classes. So within the inheritance, these will just be able to be accessed however we want. Uh, so that was our first change. So the next thing I want to do is whenever we create an item, I want to set this type and value variable. And that's going to be done in, let's see, the item... Melee weapon, all right, melee weapon constructor, the bow constructor, all right, that's just printing out its bow. Let's work with sword right now. Let's just go ahead and work with sword. Um, and whenever we 
create a, the item here itself. I'm just going to say this value equals zero. Just to initialize it. This type equals uh, default item types default. So if it's a default, we'll know that something went wrong. Uh, and then when we create an item, we want to give it a value. And here we go. Int value type will be set automatically. And boom. Unsigned value. Copy that into our H file here. Good. And obviously we're not using this constructor in our constructors here, but we're going to do that. I'm going to put unsigned value in here as well. Melee weapon, also in ranged weapon in the CPP files. Now let's go to the H files for both of these. So this is the stuff we're going to have to do whenever we change something in the base classes. Uh, so it's a little tedious, but what can you do? So once that's done, I'm going to call it for ranged weapon. Item value. Uh, call the base constructor. Same thing in melee weapon. Very simple. Item value. Uh, and now in sword as well. So whenever we create a sword, we're not given anything in here yet. But we need to do that through value here. And we're going to add more things like this later. I might not make it this tedious. I might do it in the background, just explain what I did. But just to show you how, if you want to add something, how you're going to do that. So here, ranged weapon value. And then in the sword CPP, range, no, melee value. Okay. Whenever a melee weapon is created, we need to set the type. So this type equals uh, item types melee weapon. And then we're going to do the same thing here. You have to be really careful so you don't set something weird here. So you don't set a ranged weapon to melee weapon. So just make sure it's always the correct type because it's a very manual kind of thing to be done. Um, but pretty much that's all you want to do in these constructors. Very basic. Uh, these are initialized. And we, we want to actually split that up. So void init variables. Just to make sure that is actually a... Am I recording right now? Yeah, okay. So just to make sure that is done nicely. So go ahead into your item CPP. Into init variables. Do this in init variables instead. Boom. Uh, and then go ahead in here and say, or you know what? Hmm. This value equals value. Shit, that could have been bad. All right, so this value equals value. And the type itself, hmm. let's see. Okay, for now, let's just keep it like this. Keep the, keep the thing here. Go ahead and do this. This init variables. We might need this later. So, but for now, this is fine. This is cool. Just do it directly in the constructor. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and check everything's correct. Make sure all your files are correct and try to build it. So once it's built, it should run. Something wrong. Yep, look at that. Look at that. So, so, what happened? Error list. Sign unsigned. Okay, errors. Here we go. Default redefinition. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Tile types default. Okay, okay. Uh, I see, I see. But that's item types. Shouldn't really be a problem there. Uh, let's see. Uh, where is that item? Here we go. T item types. Item item types default. Well, I guess it is. It. Let's just call it it default and put that there. And then IT, melee weapon. Cool. Okay. I guess this doesn't really matter that much. Uh, but all right. Now we're going to have to do that in ranged weapon. IT, ranged weapon. And IT, melee weapon. Also in item itself. IT default. IT default. Boom. Now if we run this, should be fine. 
that's a problem. No appropriate default constructor. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, sword. Where did we create a sword? Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Create. Let's see. Boom. Sword. There we go. All right, so sword is being created in player.h. Where's player.h? Here we go. And we have a sword in here. Okay, so sword needs to be a a uh, pointer. And then we're going to go ahead and just initialize that in init variables this sword equals new sword with a value of 20 sword and then we're going to delete sword don't forget that delete and this is just for testing so don't worry this isn't how we're going to do it in the final final game uh, once that's done it's going to crash again because we need to yeah we need to render it uh, sword on line 120 sword and this operator pointer operator here go ahead and change that and then also oh that looks looks interesting okay now should work all the errors should be finito new game all right our sword is printing out everything's fine um and our enemies, everything's fine. So I just made a little map, a small little map, uh, and that's good. Okay, now, that was a lot of crap. But if you want to change stuff in an item, that's what you're going to have to go through. And uh, good, that's that for that. Let's go into our main.cpp, and I want to show you something. So I got a question before, uh, here. I got a question before about, whoops, uh, there we go. All right. So I got a question about hiding the console window and you do that through the windows.h library. Okay. So this is basically your very core, getting your window, changing stuff for that window. Um, you can't really do this through SFML. So I want you to just include windows and go ahead and make a handler. Might as well explain this. This is kind of a handler. It's your hand holding on to something so it's going to hold on to the console window and then you can kind of show you can kind of set settings for that handler here and we're going to set the show window setting for that handler and we're going to set it to hide so if you want this to show obviously you want to do sw show okay or nothing at all because it's show by default and when we run this you're not going to see the console window, but I want to see it because I need to debug stuff and I'd recommend that for you as well. <coughs> All right. Yes, I was recording. Um, good. So that was that. I also want to go through the error I got when you're building maps in the editor and when you're not in the correct editor mode and you're putting down enemy tiles by changing the type. So let me just explain that uh, load. So right now I'm in the tile kind of mode right just putting down tiles if you look at the text here i go to type 3 that's actually the type for the enemy spawner but that's not how we place enemy spawners that's the wrong way to do it if you want to place enemy spawners press page up so go to to go to this enemy spawner editor mode and we did go through this before but in case you forgot i just want to bring this up because i did forget and then you press one two three and four to change these and then you can press shift hold down shift to zero out these or go negative for all the values so pretty much then you can just put down these and save it and, and it should work and then the enemy should spawn and that's that it's not too tough so two new things here lots of recapping uh, i need to get into this again like i said i'm gonna try to get into this properly so we can finish it and we can make some c sharp sfml side scroller stuff um but yeah we got some weapons we can at least we can we can work on these and see how that'll go in the next part, I'm going to try to make the inventory work properly. So we did add stuff. We haven't done the saving and loading, 
but I'm going to add stuff into the inventory. Uh, see if we can see them on the ground. Maybe add some icons. I'll try to get to that as soon as possible. Um, but for now, yeah, we, we need to do all the technical stuff. Thank you guys and girls for watching. Like I said before, check out the description box. Do all that stuff. Keep working hard. Uh, if you have questions, go into Discord. Check that out. Maybe someone can help you down there. Um, and it should be fine. Take care, guys. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, right? Bye-bye.